Alright, what we got here is an 06 YZ450F, and I got a quick tip on removing and installing this air box. Um, you simply loosen the brace for the air box connected to the uh, carburetor, and you loosen the three bolts on the subframe. I already have the other one loosened prior to this, so it's already off. Once you get that, you could you could choose to pull it out if you'd like, but it's kind of a hassle. So if you simply take the the rear shock top bolt off, it saves a lot of grief trying to get this thing off. You pull the tire up and release the stress on the shock. Pull the bolt out, and now let the suspension sag. Now removing the air box is a breeze. What you've done by removing the rear shock top bolt is you've created a lot of real estate here to get this in and out. Otherwise, if you leave this connected, getting it out is not a problem. You can muscle it out of there, but getting it back in while this is connected is a huge hassle. So once again, installing this air box, you wanna let the shock free before installing or removing the air box. Okay, to install, you simply let the shock loose simply slide the air box back into place and it should go right back into where it came from you lift the tire put the bolt through the shock and you're ready to go so remember loosen the shock before you get the air box in or you're putting it back in before you get it out or you're putting it back in either or but loosen the shock to save you a lot of hassle thank you for watching